four weeks ago, I was watching Little Big League on Tubi with my dog. Don't don't question why I was watching a movie with my dog. He's he he likes movies. Anyways, when I was watching the movie, I recognized one of the actors, and I was like, huh, where do I recognize him from? Then I remembered he was in the Skateboard Kid, and then I know what you're thinking, like, whoa, wait a minute, what's the Skateboard Kid? Watch John Tron's video about it. I mean, I I mean, I'm gonna explain it in this video regardless, but. Just let me, let me cook, let me cook, okay? So, when I was Googling the Skateboard Kid, I discovered something crazy. The Skateboard Kid got a sequel. And not only did it get a sequel, but the lady from the Invisible Mom movies, you remember when I was talking about the Invisible Mom franchise or whatever, like the two movies? She's in this movie. So, immediately I was like, well, not immediately, but you know, I was like, oh, I gotta talk about this. So, that's exactly what this video is. No one could be more bored than Zach, the new kid in town with no friends in sight. When a gang of hip skateboarding thrashers start cruising his neighborhood, Zach hopes his luck will change, but they want nothing to do with him. Then Zach makes the discovery of his life, a talking, wisetracking, magical skateboard, and suddenly, skateboarding rises to entirely new heights. This is the plot of the movie on IMDb. I, I mean, it's not really that accurate, but, like, I can't remember the whole film. I also never watched the whole film. I've only watched John Tron's video about it. So, I'm gonna try remembering that video. So, basically, Max is, like, a... That's not Max, Zach. See, I already forgot his name. That's how weird this movie is. Zach and his dad move. You know, Zach's mom's dead. Dad's a weirdo. He can't hold on a job or whatever. And, uh, Zach meets this lady who works at, like, um... A car place with this dude, and the dude's son is a, is an asshole. And then the lady's like, "Oh, right, let me give you this skateboard. It came from like a very famous person." And then like Zach modifies it to make it look like a weird freaking robot. And then it like it it comes to life, and then they become best friends. And then the the lady's daughter is like, "Oh, listen, um, my mom's gotta do all this and that and pay bills and stuff." And then, and then the car guy is trying to like marry the lady. To get to his great granddaddy's treasure, which I don't know what she has to do with the treasure, but like, hey, this is the movie. And then Zach and the girl, they're like, hey, he's trying to marry you for the treasure. And then she's like, I don't want to marry him. And then the the guy's kid and his friends chase Zach and the skateboard. And, and then the skateboard flies and they escape. And then the skateboard dies. And then Zach's dad marries the girl's mom. Happy ever after. I know you're going to say it's like a shitty recap of the whole film. But it's kind of accurate, and also I told you to watch John Tron's video about it, so let's move on to Skateboard Kid 2. Now, I don't plan on watching this movie. It, it's not really worth my time. Maybe one day John Tron will do it, but it takes him like years to upload, so I don't know. So I'm just gonna read you the summary instead. Take a roller coaster ride full of high octane adventures as 12 year old Sammy takes to the skies. With the help of a magical flying skateboard, Sammy ends up the hottest skateboarder in town, but a group of local thrashers don't like the extra competition. They plot to destroy any chance of Sammy competing against them in the local tournament, but they don't have a clue of what they're up against. I should point out that both of these uh, descriptions for the movies are both written by the people who made the movie New Horizons and Concord, so, um, yeah. He was a boy skateboarding hand. If you want to watch both the Skateboard Kid movies by yourself and, you know, don't want to watch me or John Tron talk about it, they're both on YouTube, and trust me, I did make sure that they're both on YouTube. I, um, was trying to find out where I could watch the second one, and I found out I was on YouTube, and I was like, oh, okay, this is convenient. Now I don't want to watch it anymore, so I, <laughs> so I didn't. But yeah, that's gonna do it for the video. Um, the next video, Analog Horror, ooh, that's right, dipping my toe back into Analog Horror, and then taking a detour and going back to sitcom tv show old stuff you know what i mean like i'm i'm flip-flopping because after i do that i'm gonna go back to analog horror and that's gonna be analog horror for all, all like uh five videos of analog horror god you're gonna love that and then we have some obscure media to talk about but i'm saving that for later so uh i'll see you all then i don't know if he knew how to write it though he flipped up cereal and other things with it that's how you know he was a true skateboard boy. Skateboard boy. One true our king. Skateboard boy. One true our king, yeah. Skateboard boy. One true our king. Skateboard boy. One true our king, yeah. What do you have to say about that pink guy? Really lay it on me.
really fucking kill me. Wow, that's really fucked up. I wish you never said that. Please never speak to me again. <laughs>